A pregnant woman who was at maternity hospital in Mariupol last Wednesday when it was bombed has died, along with her baby, the Associated Press reported on Monday. An AP image of emergency workers carrying the injured pregnant woman on a stretcher outside the bombed hospital last Wednesday had been widely reported, including by CNN. According to the AP, medics did not have time to get the woman's name before her husband and father came to retrieve her body, so she did not end up in one of Mariupol's mass graves. As CNN earlier reported, at least three people died in the attack Wednesday, which came despite Russia agreeing to a 12-hour pause in hostilities to allow refugees to evacuate. At the time, the Mariupol City Council accused Russian forces of dropping several bombs on it from the air, calling the destruction, enormous. Last week, Mariupol's mayor Vadim Boychenko also accused Russians of genocide for its targeting of civilian buildings. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky had called the attack an atrocity. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Thursday alleged without evidence the bombed hospital in Mariupol was the radical Azov battalion's base and that all patients and nurses had left. Later on Thursday, a Russian Ministry of Defense spokesperson denied in a briefing that Russia had shelled the maternity hospital at all, calling it a provocation.